Miss Viva Las Vegas is the ultimate pageant. Every girl wants to be Miss Viva Las Vegas. It's the Miss America of the rock and film genre. Of all the pinup contests all over the world, Miss Viva Las Vegas is the most prestigious contest. Viva Las Vegas is the world's largest rockabilly festival weekender. There's music, there's burlesque, there's pinup contests, there's bowling, there's cars, there's vendors from all over the world. When it comes to Viva Las Vegas, because we have such an international audience, when a girl is up on that stage, she's not just in front of Vegas or America, she's in front of the world. I'm going to talk to you this morning about the way you look. Don't copy. After all, each of you is an original. And an original is always more valuable than a copy. Automobiles and women go together because they've got the curves. They've got that line. In, that, in art history, we call contraposto, which means the S-curve. And that S-curve is something we find in nature, we find it in good design, we find it in all forms of beauty. Cars are rolling art, and the only thing prettier than a real beautiful custom car is a beautiful pinup girl. And when we see these pinups posing, they strike a pose that gives us that line, like these cars give us that line. And they're not moving, but man, they're going someplace and they're going someplace fast. Via Pinup is the only place that I felt that I belonged before. Uh, everybody looks awkward to me. It was too different to be uh, with other people. And now I just fit in. Once I found vintage reproduction, like Pinup Girl clothing, that was it. That was the really the final point of me being able to accept myself the way I am because I had clothes that looked good on me. I wasn't trying to wear things that were made for a body shape that wasn't mine. To feel confident in my own skin, to feel pretty and to feel accepted was amazing. I think pinup definitely gives a feeling of confidence. During World War II, pinup girls became very popular. They were a symbol to our men who were serving overseas. It gave them a visual, something to fight for. A lot of times people will say, oh, I'm born in the wrong era. Yes and no. Would you want to be stuck under a lot of the rules that the women had back then? Probably not. I would rather be in this world in these clothes with tattoos and my rights than in that world in these clothes with no tattoos and no rights. I love challenging the stereotypes. You think I look a little ditzy or silly and then I can come up and speak to you and say that I'm a business owner. I hopefully sound well educated and polite and that hopefully someone walks away going, wow, maybe the next time I see someone that looks a little different, I won't be so quick to judge them. I look like a classic pinup, but there would have been very, very few lesbian pinups out open back then, if any. Most people don't really associate, you know, dark-skinned ladies in the pinup world, and it's very difficult when people are kind of putting you down and, oh, you're not that pretty, and, you know, you're too dark. I kind of want to be here, pushing the door open for other girls. I've always been very different and stood out from a crowd. I believe you should always strive to be the flame, not the moth. Hi, I'm Dixie Delight. I'm Asia Henry Burrs. I'm Ivy Fox. I'm the Blue Head Betty. I'm Marilis Kraba. I'm Ruby Red. I'm Ruby Devine. I'm Miss Victory Violet. My name is Elka. Hi, I'm Brittany King. My name is Jane Dean. Hi, I'm Pinned Up a Little Bit, and I'm the next. And I'm the next. I am the next. Next, Miss Miss Vivellas, Miss Viva Las Vegas.